Okay, YouTube family, let's talk about it. It's your favorite girl. Okay, guys, so let's talk about the situation that is going on in Washington, D.C. A good Samaritan is now seeing firsthand that no good deed goes unpunished. After her selfless act went viral on TikTok, has now led to legal battle with GoFundMe. Me. Now, Sanaya Garten, a student in Washington, D.C., was blogging on her way to the store when she decided to go above and beyond to help a homeless man, Alonzo Douglas Hebron, whom she met along the way. The ordeal got so much attention online that she set up a GoFundMe to help Alonzo get back on his feet. A GoFundMe campaign that ultimately raised $403,000 on Alonzo's behalf. Now, after a local news station released a story making claims about Alonzo's criminal history, Graydon claimed the GoFundMe refused to release the money and even believed the issue could be racially motivated. Is there more to the story? And what does GoFundMe have to say about this? Now, guys, this is definitely a sad situation because I have seen people raise GoFundMe for funerals, you know, to pay for tuitions, to buy a house, to buy a car. And I never heard of them not releasing the money. So the question will have to be, what is the real reason why that, the money is not being released. Y'all drop down in the comments what y'all take on this whole situation that is going on. Now, in the clip that I'm about to drop, Sania did mention that she spent $3,000 to help him not only get his medication, but to put him in a hotel room for a couple of days. So the problem is, the question is, why is GoFundMe not to release the money? At the end of the day, it's not their money because patrons saw the story, took money from their personal accounts and decided to send money to Alonzo. So why is GoFundMe holding the money? Now, and what do his criminal history have anything to do with him getting the funds that is due to him? So I'm going to leave you guys with this clip of Sania and Alonzo talking in the car. And I need you guys to tell me what y'all think. Let's talk about it. Now lay down. And I ask God, could you bring my little angel back to me? And he said, that's not sure. She's coming now. Yeah. Hey, you know what, though? Hmm. I was in that room. I took a shower. And then I filled it. I said, man, Lord, have mercy. For some reason, well, I ain't finished it yet. You want me to finish? I haven't finished it. Finish what? The letter. What letter? The letter that I'm writing. Writing me a letter? Oh, my God. Yeah. There's a reason why we crossed paths. Huh? Some tea. Tea? Tea. Some tea. hot tea. Some hot tea? Yeah. Damn. From where? I'm walking to Church Joe's. You want to walk with me? Church Joe's? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we can stop by Starbucks or something. Say hi to my TikTok. All right. So we must have gone to CVS real quick. So we in here. He about to uh, show me where he got to go. Cause he said he's in pain. So he just got insurance yesterday, but it takes 45 days for his insurance to be active. So I told him like, I'm just gonna pay for it. So he got his medication. 